The objects of reference for the activity, which is cooking, is your mixing bowl and spoon. Good morning. My name is Claire and today we're going to be making a peach cake. Now the first thing to do before getting all the ingredients together is you need to make sure that you wash your hands properly for at least 20 seconds. The first thing you're going to need is 225 grams of self-raising flour. Then you're going to need 225 grams of caster sugar. You're going to need to have a tin of sliced peaches. You're going to need to have 225 grams of softened butter or margarine. Four large eggs and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So firstly, um, you need to make sure you've got a, a sandwich tin greased. Next, you need to mix the butter and the sugar together. So first of all, we're going to put a bit of sugar into the, into the bowl. And now we're going to place the butter into the bowl. Next, you need to make sure that you beat both the butter and the sugar together properly. Which means making it all mixed together so that you have a very smooth consistency. Okay, now after that's been beaten together a little bit, you need to add your eggs. And you need to add, add the eggs one at a time. One. Two. Okay, so after you've beaten the eggs in, lovely, you're now going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, this is up to you whether you use this or not. Some people like to use it, some people don't. But we like to have a little bit of that in our mixture. Fantastic. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to add the flour. Now, I've got my little sieve here, and I've also got my flour, so I'm going to put a little bit in and basically sieve that in a little bit like that, a bit more. You don't have to use a sieve, but it's quite nice sometimes that, uh, to make it as fine as possible to go into the mixture. Okay. There we go, let's give it a little bit of shake like that. And then after we've done that, we're going to then mix it all together once more so that it all comes together lovely. So, once again, you take all of your mixture and mix it all together. Okay, once your mixture is all lovely and creamy, we're now ready to put it into the cake tin. But first of all, you'll need to layer the bottom of your tin with some of some of the tinned peaches that we spoke about earlier. Okay, so here are the tinned peaches. We're just going to gently layer the tin with the peaches, which I will now show you. Now the tin has been greased with a bit of butter. Okay, 
So I'm just going to show you what the tin actually now looks like. So now you have the tinned peaches at the bottom. Okay. So now we're ready, all with our lovely mixture, just to layer it all, just pour it all over, all over the peaches, like so. Out. Just going to lay it over the top. That's right, all over, all over the peaches. Make sure we get every single bit, of, last bit of mixture out. You don't want to waste anything after all the effort we put into it. Okay, okay, and there we have it. So, I'm just going to lay that over there like that. Now, Your oven would have been preheating. So your oven would have been preheating to 180 degrees. So now your cake mixture is ready. You're going to pop it into the oven and wait for 25 minutes, and then you can get your cake out. Okay, so I've washed my hands for 20 seconds. We're now going to take a look at the, the peach cake that we made earlier. So we need to turn it upside down. So put it, put it onto a plate, turn it upside down. You might need a knife just to help you run it along. And here it is. This is the peach cake that we've made today. Okay, so our cake's come out, and the last thing we're gonna do is we are just gonna take some icing sugar and just use our sieve and just sprinkle a tiny bit over the top like so. We're gonna give it a tap, go around the cake, in a nice circle, and there we go. Ta-da, nice peach cake.